any of you ever noticed that sometimes when people are trying to stop themselves from crying, they go like this? <sighs> they kind of like flap at their eyes with their hands. I was talking to my friend Ross about this and we came to the conclusion that they're probably doing it to dry the tears off their face. And then I was thinking and I was like, that can't be an effective tear drying method. It uses so much energy. So I thought that in this video I'm going to do a practical hands on experiment to find out whether or not this is a good tear drying technique or if it's more efficient to use the traditional moisture repelling device the blow dryer. First of all we're going to see how long it takes to dry the tears water off my face using the flapping technique. I'm going to get some water on my face. I'm not like claiming to be a scientist or anything guys, I'm just, I just want to sit, oh god, my, I shouldn't have put mascara on. Okay, I'm flapping. It still feels quite wet. My face is still soggy. Farewell, Asian lady. Farewell, lady, lady, lady. Potter, the Dementors are coming. Mon père est un professeur. Actually, he's not my dad's pharmacist, not a teacher, FYI. It's been nearly two and a half minutes. My face is still wet. But I'm not going to jump to conclusions. I'm going to do the second part of my experiment because I'd hate to put all my chickens in one basket and count my eggs before they've hatched and hold on to my hippogriffs. Phase two. Ooh, precipitation. I'm ready. I'm finding it hard to breathe. I'm done. They're gone. My face is dry. And it took one minute. To make my point, all you flappers, you could you could save so much time by just whipping out the blow dryer. Because, you know, this uses up wrist energy that you could be using for other things. That's what she said. I think the point I've made today is that standing flapping your eyes to evaporate your tears is an ineffective method and what you really need is the blow dryer. Bye!